In September of last year, my dad had fallen sick just before a trip to Yellowknife. Um, his body had ached and he had a slight fever, but he went anyways. Um, and the day after he had returned from the trip, he was admitted into the ICU. He couldn't walk, he was gasping for air, and we were told that he would be put into a medically induced coma, put on a ventilator, and that they would start antibiotics for what they believed was pneumonia. Uh, the next three days were vital, as if his condition didn't improve, it would mean that he might not make it. In the next two days, my dad's condition worsened. There wasn't enough oxygen going into his lungs and he continued to have a fever. One and three quarters of his lungs was infected. His lungs had essentially failed and his kidneys were also failing um, and they put him on dialysis. My mom could sense that the doctors were not optimistic and she asked my brother to fly in to Toronto to prepare us for the worst. Uh, my mom even asked the doctor if he could test my dad for Legionnaires, an atypical form of pneumonia. Uh, but the doctors told her that he was certain it was a common form of pneumonia um, and we would be getting the results the next day. The next day came and the test came back negative um, and it kind of disheartened us all. prayers that were pumping in during this time. As much as ventilators and medication being pumped into his system to keep him alive, so were hundreds, if not thousands, of prayers were shoot up to heaven by many prayer warriors across the globe. This was the moment when, when I need the prayer of uh, many and I went when it's the time when I had to let go you know let go and let the Holy Spirit intercede and help help us on on my behalf and um, with with groaning and and uh, deep words that I cannot utter hi my name is Ben uh, you see me right now, I'm, uh, I'm as normal as I was before I was sick in September. Uh, I'm actually a very healthy person, uh, seldom get sick. I also remember during those time, uh, the 13 days when I was in coma, I was very conscious of uh, that I was dying. Uh, I can remember two incidents where I served on a hospital bed. Uh, that I was dying and, and another incident I saw was that I was uh, in a conference between two rivers and there was a waterfall and I was falling down and there was a beast coming down to get me and I know he was trying to uh, get hold of me. So after 13 days, uh, when I look back, uh, I realized that uh, I was actually uh, in the and this valley of the shadow of death. And that's why I would say that the church prayer was very powerful. Your prayer was very powerful. And be not uh, afraid to pray because when you pray for the sick, it works. It works for me. And that's why I recovered. And I came back. Looking back, when I came out from the hospital, I was told that uh, uh, when, my kin when my lung fell, all my system, uh, all my internal organs died and, and slowly recovered. My kidney was actually was working only 10%. I was told that I'll be on dialysis for life. But lo and behold, from the prayer of the, of the, of the saints and from church, uh, I have recovered within uh, two months. I'm no longer in dialysis after two months. And I'm actually very normal now. I go fishing and everything. <laughs> so I want to thank the church that you for your prayers. And I think that spiritually uh, we are connected. Uh, we have relationship uh, through, uh, through the Holy Spirit. And when one, one, when one body suffers, the church has raised up to, to, to intercede for the body. And praise the Lord for that. Amen. This second chance, we got to always find out <laughs> what 
what needs to be done, the only thing I can say is that uh, the later life should be better than my former, right? Especially when you're aging <laughs> in the process of that stage, right? I remember when I was when I first become Christian, I want nothing but serve Christ. You know, everything is all about Jesus. And I wish I had the same zeal.